Okay, hello and welcome back to the uh, Land Rover Toolbox videos. Uh, first of all, I've got a little bit of a confession to make, and it's to do with um, carrying on with this uh, welding tutorials. There are certain things in my life that uh, seem to be uh, stopping this at the moment, and I will carry on as soon as things get resolved. But in the meantime, I'll show you that the chassis has actually started to be cut. I was cutting it and then the phone rang and I had issues to sort out. We will continue. Uh, just have patience with us. Anyway, just for this week, I'll, uh, I'll just chuck in a few extra items that I was going to cover. Anyway, right, this is the drill I uh, use at home, which is a Black & Decker. It's not a, a fantastically brilliant, but it drills holes. And uh, this here is a uh, screwdriver, which helps me uh, drill in a lot. Now, I've bought myself, um, for work of course, uh, a DeWalt set. And this has uh, come out to be quite cheap. And I'll give you the heads up on this if you live in the UK. What you'll find is Screwfix are, are doing quite a good deal. Obviously, they're not paying me for this. But basically, what I have here is um, a 18-volt drill with a 13 millimeter chuck. Remember, this is 13 millimeter chuck. Now, this is brushless technology, which means that it's chip controlled and it shouldn't actually get hot. Uh, we'll be trying this out later. I'll be taking it to work next week and uh, putting it with my tools. But basically, it's a 1.5 amp hour battery that goes with this. You get two in the case with a battery charger. And the item chucked in here, of course, is also a uh, Torx driver, which is good for driving sockets or for driving screws. Now, I've got myself an adapter to fit quarter-inch sockets onto it. And, of course, this one isn't too bad. It's a cheaper version of the two, but, again, it's brushless technology. There's no indicator lights or any um, torque settings on here, but it's good enough for what I need to do. Now, this Einhelt one I've uh, been using for quite a while. Quite good here because this actually has a battery indicator with it to tell me that the battery, what type of condition it's in, what charge it's in. And the, you wouldn't actually, when you put them together, would, you wouldn't think they were a thousand miles apart. However, the DeWalt one is um, going to run cooler. They both run on 1.5 amp hour batteries and they're both made in Germany. DeWalt being a German company and uh, so is Einheld apparently. But this seems to be, well I've used it a couple of times, it's actually pretty good. This one is uh, going to be retired at home as a screwdriver for wood projects at home. And I went to B&Q probably about six months ago when I was on holiday I had to put up a rail but I ended up buying myself a kit for what about 20 quid which has sockets in this one I can now make it obsolete and all these bits will fit in the Torx driver itself so this is actually a, quite a good deal as I said this was from uh, B&Q okay like I said uh, there is a difference watch out for the deals because Sometimes you will get something which is uh, advertised as a 10 mil chuck. You want a 13 mil chuck on your uh, drill, which will fit bigger drill bits. But this one come out to be 150 pounds all in, which, to be honest with you, for the price of a drill plus a driver and the batteries and the charger, it's worth it. And Screwfix will actually supply a bigger batteries for DeWalt if you require. So, anyway, getting on to a subject which I've been want, meaning to talk to for ages is um, hands and the condition of your skin and how you look after them. Because I do see memes on Facebook every now and then, and it's um, not brilliant because when you've been working for a long while with your hands, you can see from mine that they've actually aged. I'm getting on for 50 years old now, but my skin has had a rough time on my uh, hands. Also, I'm actually suffering now from carpal tunnel on my uh, wrist as well, so my hands will go numb once in a while. Believe it or not, I'm actually left-handed. Now, these are the memes that you'll see on Facebook, which, okay, is a bit of a joke, but some people might take it seriously. You really do have to look out for your skin. Make sure you do not get eczema or dermatitis. Prolonged contact to oils could actually give you skin cancer as well. Right, so this sort of gel is what we use to clean our hands at work. And of course, we need to, after working with oils and such, even when you're wearing gloves, you need to make sure they're clean. The gloves here, which usually you can get, um, nitrile, or the new ones, which are the new kids on the block, are a textured grip glove. 
and these are actually pretty good they last longer they're expensive they're about 11 pounds for a box 100 but they work quite well now what i want to say especially is to keep your nails short and keep them clean if you've got white stuff coming under here under your cuticles it means that you've got an issue it's uh, your body telling you that it's uh, got toxicity there and it's trying to fight it and put a barrier there one thing that does actually work, if you've heard of it, you probably do it yourself, is sugar with some fairy liquid. It's quite expensive, however, the, um, the sugar acts as a grit, the fairy liquid acts as a detergent, and of course the sugar will also soak up the, uh, the dirt as well. Obviously my hands are quite clean at the moment, so you won't see it come off. But this stuff works really well if you don't have any granulated cleaner. Now, again, as I say, and I keep saying it, use and make sure that you scrub all the dirt off. Now, I just want to show you my hands, right? Um, I've got calluses all over them, and I've got calluses where they shouldn't, ha shouldn't be. But also, my skin is uh, very dry in places. Now, this is because oil will take the natural oils out of your skin. Now, I'll just show you that there. I've had cracks here right down to the flesh, and also on your knuckles as well, if they dry out they will get to the point where you'll actually see the skin split and it's not a good situation. The photograph here, the fingers will show you how the skin actually splits. I would always advise using something like cocoa butter. I'm sure you can find something that is suitable for you, but cocoa butter is very good for your skin. It makes it supple and flexible. And this is the idea is to look after your skin because I'll tell you, when you've had dermatitis, it will keep coming back. Okay, so your body will actually uh, put a, a, a thicker coat on your hands after a while but if you're noticing that the sensitivity in your fingers is going it's not because of that it's possibly because you're lacking things uh, like b vitamins now okay marmite is not the best example of b vitamins but it is a source of it because this helps you repair tissue in your body and it also helps restore nerve sensitivity but if you do experience tingling in your fingers, then you might be suffering what, with what I am, which is actually carpal tunnel. But just, just a little bit of a heads up for you.